Okay, this is Jeff. Um, I was kind of waiting for my uh, my stove body there to cool down after my pre-burn burn, melting all the gook off the bottom of it and the paint and everything. So I figured uh, this would be a good opportunity to kind of go over my tools. I've got everything kind of laid out here and uh, kind of show everybody what I use. Um, everything I have here is 100% portable. Don't need uh, any 220. 110, whatever. Um, been using been using this gun right here. This is a spool gun. It's a it's a ready welder too. Wire goes in here. Self-contained unit. Um, I run it off of two 12 volt batteries. I use some Napa uh, Napa commercial batteries. I hook I, I loop them together or series them basically is what people call them. Get 24 volt. You, you take your positive and negative, bring them together, and then on this end, you hook your positive and negative uh, from the spool gun from the control box here. Right there, got kind of alligator clamps. There's a little control box. Um, hook them on there and go. Turn your gas on. Um, I use a pure argon. A lot of people use... Uh, the CO2 argon mix or whatever, the, the pure argon is a little bit more expensive than the CO2 argon 7525, but you can weld everything with this from mild steel, aluminum, stainless, whatever. I pay the extra four or five dollars, whatever it is per tank. Just run pure argon. I'm I've, All my bases are covered. I can weld whatever. Uh, wonderful little gun. Military uses these things. Uh, the Navy, they, they use them in the shipyards to build subs, you know, um, battleships, whatever. Uh, pretty amazing little piece of equipment. Been using one of these for about five, six years now. Um, your controls right here. This controls your wire speed and heat. Your trigger, it's real simple. Hook it up, you're ready to run. And uh, like I said, nice thing about it is I can throw this thing right in the back of my my 4x4 right there, go out in the middle of the woods, wilderness, farm field, whatever, and weld away. Uh, I get about, oh, depending on, it all depends on how thick of stuff you're welding. Um, I can weld plate steel on this thing, get a probably about a little over an hour, hour and fifteen, hour and twenty minute burn time out of out of two batteries running full, you know, full tilt on uh, on plate steel. If you're if you're welding something, you know, a little thinner, milder, whatever, aluminum, you can get a lot longer, a uh, lot longer burn time. That's continuous welding, so you know, anywhere from about an hour and 15 minutes all the way up to two hours. Uh, you can get well time out of that little outfit right there. Uh, it's 100% duty cycle. Um, you can you can hook this thing up to 220. I've got a little buzz box. Um, one of these new little MMA welders. That little thing right there is a 200 amp DC welder. You can see it weighs weighs all of about maybe 13, 14 pounds, if that. And it's 220. I can hook, I can hook them alligator clamps up to the end of the the stingers on that thing and weld all day long with it. Um, so nine chance out of ten, though, I just kind of hook, I hook it up to these batteries. It's just so simple. Clamp them on there, run with it. Um, don't need any power. Um, as far as torch goes, I know I've kind of put a jab on people uh, using plasma cutters and stuff. I've got, I've got like three or four of them back in there buried underneath all that junk. Uh, I ran hypertherm for years. Uh, I've got a 600, an 800, um, something else back here too. I think i got three of them left, and they've been buried for years. I never use them. Um, this little dude right here, uh, the hen rob or the what they call now is a Cobra uh, DHC 2000 um, just uh, I can't say enough about this thing um, obviously I ain't, I'm not getting paid by these people or whatever but um, when, I, when I get something that's good and it works like it says it works and it does a, a, a good as job as this does um, I tell everybody about it um, 
uh, I get these from Jim Spradley. Um, I don't know if you can see the this little sticker there. It's J and S Enterprises. He's down out of South Carolina. Um, it, th these things are just unreal. Uh, you can weld anything: uh, aluminum, cast iron, steel. Uh, this thing will run just basically like a TIG torch, only better. Uh, you, all you need is your oxygen acetylene. It, uh, it runs off of 4 PSI oxygen, 4 PSI acetylene. Um, it uses about 70% less gas than your regular traditional Harris type torch. Uh, I, I can I can get it months uh, welding out of them. Two, they're just standard size tanks. They're not oversized. They're just your standard run of the mill shop tanks that um, you know just keep around in the garage. I can get months and months. But also I, I use one of these gas savers too. These are a really neat thing. You, you you put your gun in there and it shuts off the fuel, the weight of it. Uh, comes down on this arm, it shuts oxygen settling completely off. There's a little pilot torch that when you turn it on, it runs all the time, and you don't have to mess with your control valves or whatever. You know, if you're welding or cutting, it don't make any difference. Pick that up, touch your torch head to it, and you're you're you know you're ready to go. You don't have to mess with your your controls at all. Once you got your torch set, it's set. Um, you know, if you need to hang it, put it back down there, hang it right in there, shuts the gas off, and the only thing's running is just this little bitty pilot torch. So that that actually saves even more on your fuel. Um, so just uh, just wonderful pieces of equipment. I mean, uh, I've had this kit for a little over a year, uh, and. When I was talking about plasma cutters, this thing, this is a this this one here is called an undercutter, and he has all this online on a video. If you go to go to a website or just type in JNS Enterprises or Cobra Torch, Henrob Torch, whatever, um, Jim's got a, a little short video on there. Um, just shows you what all this thing can do. It's it's absolutely uh, amazing, and it, the cut quality is unreal. But this is an undercutter for basically sheet metal and this is what is called an overcutter that just pops pops up on the on that on the head and you put your two torch tips on and just run with it um, that's good for man I mean thick stuff <laughs> one inch more whatever it, it'll go blow through about whatever you want um, here's a little wheel kit I never I never have used it but in case you got like a you know, unsteady hand or shaky or whatever, you can you can clamp this little wheel kit onto the torch head and just it'll and just run it right straight along. Um, man, it's, it looks uh, it, it's unreal. You just gotta you just gotta use one um, and experience it, I guess, to appreciate how nice this thing is. And here's all your this is like your oxygen uh, tip for your cutting and everything's labeled. And it goes, you know, you got your OT tip, your uh, number one, two, on up uh, to whatever, you know. It's got a got a couple adapters here, long reach adapter, and then a curved one for like, me, you know, getting over exhaust or something like that. This is uh, just a for like um, sweating pipes, copper pipes in the house. Uses just straight uh, straight acetylene. And then it has little oxygen holes that brings oxygen oxygen up uh, a lot lower burn temperature uh, just for like soldering and what have you. And I've got a I've actually got a rosebud attachment here too. I don't know if you can see that big old monster. Um, you can screw that thing onto onto the end of this and. Uh, if you can see it or not, this thing's just a beast. Uh, that thing will really throw some heat out. Um, that's just kind of a separate attachment. Now, again, this stuff isn't cheap. Um, you know, that I've got I've got probably almost a thousand dollars just in the the torch, 
Now, this is what they call a master kit. You can get a lower, or not a lower, lower quality, but a less equipment with it. They, they have like a starter kit, an intermediate kit, and then what they have, they call this, this kit is called a master's kit. It comes with like everything that they sell. Um, and like I said, I bought the, bought the, um, the regulators from him. They're special, you know, low PSI. Like I said, these things only use four PSI piece. So I went ahead and bought those from him, which are, you know, you, you can use your regular run the mill Harris, um, regulators with these things. These are just easier to adjust because that you can adjust them in smaller increments. Um, like I said, low pressure is the key with these things. And you'll use, like I said, at least a, a minimum of 70% less gas than you would with uh, traditional Harris torches. And this, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got, I've got other, you know, welders floating around back there. Like I said, plasma cutters, it's been buried for years. I even got a couple of those three-in-one machines where they, you can TIG, plasma cut, arc weld, whatever with them, and I just don't use them anymore. Uh, <laughs> these are these are uh, my two go-to tools. Uh, I do all of my welding um, with this and that little uh, ready welder. And these these ready welders, they, the price varies on these. This is a military issue model. I've got like the 24 volt adapter, vehicle adapter, and all that stuff that goes with it, um, you re which you really don't need. Um, but these start out, uh, I'm guessing right around six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a complete, you know, kind of outfit. I've got I've got a hundred foot of extension cable, um, uh, the airline regulators, all that stuff. It it all come in a in a big kit. So uh, my think I've got about $1,200 in this one, but, uh, you know, the, the, these two, and, and like I said, the nice thing about it is I can load them all up in that four by there, go out in the middle of nowhere and weld all day long, No, don't need any power whatsoever, no 110, no 220, so um, kind of nice, uh, very nice, you know, uh, very nice, two nuts, really nice piece of equipment. Um, anybody that's looking into getting into doing a whole lot of welding and um, really wants some quality uh, quality tools and, and equipment, um, I highly, highly recommend these things. Uh, if you want any more information, just message me or, um, like I said, go online. There's a wealth of information uh, about about these, the, the spool gun and also the, the, the torch set up. Uh, or you can call Jim. Uh, believe it or not, uh, every every time I've called his number, uh, a human answers. I've never got a machine. Uh, either he or his son, either one, will answer the phone. I've I've called them actually as late as eight nine o'clock at night and had questions and talked to him for probably forty five minutes to an hour. Super super nice guy. Uh, extremely knowledgeable. He knows. He knows what he sells, and um, if you have any hiccup or problems with these things, he uh, he can definitely set you on the right path. I basically had to unlearn everything that I knew about gas welding with the Harris traditional Harris torch, and throw all that out the window and, and relearn this one. But man, once I did, uh, all I got to say is wow. Uh, uh, if you've never used one of these, you're you're missing out. Uh, they're really wonderful. So there's basically what I use uh, every day, all the time. Uh, my bread and butter is that little that little torch right there, and this little spool gun and a couple batteries um, is pretty much what builds those right there. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it makes my money. So uh, I thought I'd just give a quick look over and uh like i say got any questions or whatever go online or give me a give me a shout on here uh I'd be happy to talk talk with you about them or uh if you have any questions about them just let me know thanks again